Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. This is episode 502 of the Ping Pong Flick Show. Let's go into just, a, it's a little bit of a review. Um, I have here Jared Joker Leto, at Joker underscore Leto, uh, had compiled a bunch of interviews from Jared Leto and a little bit of Margot Robbie in, in, in talking a little bit about the scenes that never got to make it into you know David Ayer's Suicide Squad, right? They don't go in particular, but it, it is kind of interesting, and um, I like you to hear it, and we can talk about it right here. See a little more Joker and Suicide Squad too. We shot so much footage. There are so many scenes that are not in the film. Oh, there were so many scenes that got cut from the movie. I I couldn't even start. I, I got the feeling that you filmed a lot more. We I filmed the so show. much of our backstory. Yeah, there's and a it lot. Just of, didn't make it in. Yeah, and the backstory stuff though, it's like magic. And some of the stuff we shot was like it was beautiful. insane. Yeah. We did a lot of experiment experimentation on the set we explored a lot there, there was so much that we shot that's not in the film you know it's a it's a bit of an introduction to the Joker now it's a bit more of a supporting uh, part uh, than maybe it, it could have been if they used everything but they have a method to their madness it was probably more about filtering uh, all of the insanity because you know I I, I wanted to give a lot of options and mm -hmm. You know, I think there's probably enough footage in this film for uh, a Joker movie. But I think so right there, um, Jared Leto speaks out about, and this is from before, so um, already we, we already kind of established this, but it's kind of good to remind ourselves of how much was missing uh, from David Ayer's Suicide Squad. As Jared Leto says here, there's a lot of footage, incredible amounts of footage of him and even Margot Robbie's backstory, a, a lot more Joker. And he says right there, like he, he could have been like an introduction to Joker, except now when the movie came out, it became more of a supporting character rather than a major role. Like like we've talked about before, he was supposed to be there at the end with Enchantress. Uh, we've seen a concept part of that and possibly they even and like you said they probably shot that as well so um yeah that's kind of uh you know uh, i would really like to see that i i would love to see um you know jared leto's joker i would love to see how that story was supposed to have gone through and so yeah continuing um after we get the snare cut maybe even uh you know we will definitely try to get uh the air cut and i think I think it's possible with enough noise about the air cut, we could possibly uh, get a response from that as well. But I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully one day seeing uh, the, da uh, the David Ayers cut of, of the Suicide Squad, right? So that is a little bit of that. that. Just, a, just to remind you that there's a bigger movie out there aside from the Snyder Cut. But the Snyder Cut is a huge movie. And I want to thank... Uh, Sean O'Connell uh, and the Cinema Blend crew uh, in in finally actually getting that article about Ben Affleck saying that the Snyder Cut should uh, should be available. Um, and now we actually have a video footage of it as well. Um, in honor and support for Ben Affleck and the love he showed for release of Snyder Cut, here's video of our Batman telling the world that Zack's version should be available. Repay him. See hashtag the way back this week in the theater, release the Snyder Cut book, because Sean O'Connell is making a Snyder Cut book, Zack Snyder's Justice League. So here we go. This is this is uh, the audio the audio and video interview of Ben Affleck saying exactly that. Take a look. That movie, I, you know, having two directors is a very weird thing. You know what I mean? And there's Justice League, the, the director had a family tragedy and, and had to leave. Did you know about that? Uh, what? The Snyder Cut thing? Yeah, and, and, it's, I saw and so you have a kind of cow's body and a horse's head a little bit mm -hmm. with two directors a lot of times. And, uh, uh, you know, for better or for worse, I think, you know, well, I, I do think, you know, Zach's cut should be available for sure. Yeah. 
Uh, I did a video already about uh, what he's talked about, what Sean O'Connell reported, um, and those uh, the dialogue that was there. But now we get to actually see it uh, and hear it. Um, and it's cool to see the, the other co-stars right next to him to, uh, kind of reacting to that, too. Like, it's their surprise to find out about that. But now they are probably maybe asking Ben Affleck and uh, probably more intrigued about that. So a lot more people are, um, you know, kind of thinking about it and actually um, you know finally knowing about it uh, as we continue to spread the word that there is Zack Snyder's Justice League out there that is a potentially an, a crazy awesome movie uh, an epic uh, movie uh, the tour de force but uh, it's great to see Ben Affleck saying this and as I was listening further I was trying to figure out what the woman was, woman in the background was trying to say but now I figured out that uh, a, a, someone must have walked on set and so she said, excuse me, guys, we're in the middle of an interview. So I thought at first she was trying to stop them from talking about the Snyder Cup, but that's not the case here. Um, someone was walking in. But uh, in any case, uh, oh, Ben Affleck f does look like he wants to say more. He was going to say for better or worse and then stops and says, yeah, anyway. I mean, I think the Zach, uh, Zach's cut should be available. So thank you so much, Ben Affleck, for uh, saying those words, for, for supporting the Snyder Cut movie, for supporting Zach, uh, and we'll definitely uh, support you in return uh, by going to watch The Way Back this week, and I, hopefully you guys are going to watch The Way Back this week. Um, I was trying to get the tr uh, Twitter to trend. I don't know if it did. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about the way back because it's such a good film, um, and uh, and also you know we had uh, you know reporters uh, and bloggers talking about how he, Ben Affleck has. Uh, you know, comes off with a great, uh, outstanding performance, one of his best in his career. So definitely pretty excited to watch that movie this weekend, and hopefully we'll get to do that. Um, I wanted to tweet out a little bit more, and that that's on me. I think Hootsuite failed, and my tweets didn't go out, unfortunately, but hopefully we generated enough noise for people to go out and watch the, the Way Back theater, in theaters, right? So but let's talk about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Brad Curran, Curran uh, who put on Screen Rant in an article, and it says Zack Snyder's Justice League reshoots could revert to pre-Batman v Superman plan. Now, uh, he goes into details, and I'm going to link this article in the description below so you can go ahead and read it for yourself. But to maybe summarize and paraphrase, we, we already know uh, that the Clapper board said that there's going to be scenes of a Superman, Batman, a Lois, or a Martian Manhunter, right? Um, or it could be like a bunch of different scenes um, with uh, what we know about Martian Manhunter. Never got to shoot that. What we kind of believe now in that scene on the storyboard, that was actually Lois uh, um, talking to Martha, and it was actually a Martian Manhunter in disguise uh, as Lois. So um, that that part we kind of just figured out now. He also, Zack Snyder also revealed that in Zack Snyder's Justice League, uh, you know, put it this way, in Zack Snyder's Justice League, Superman will have a black suit, and we know that that's something that he'll probably have to change to the black suit, and uh, as everything was shot in uh, red, and blue in the red and blue suit but he probably did it in a way the suit was did it in a way with that sheen so that the black suit will pop out really well uh, during post-production right <clears throat> so we know that he never shot uh, that scary idea at the Snyder Con, he, he revealed that he shot a lot of them but he never shot that hard hard idea that scary idea, which we assume could possibly be um, Lois getting killed by Darkseid and, and maybe some nightmare stuff. So with his uh, this revelation of of the movie not being called like the Justice League Director's Cut or, or Justice League Ultimate Edition or Justice League something, he's or even a Snyder Cut, you know, you know, to say that. But he's he's really emphasizing that it's Zack Snyder's Justice League. And like I've said this before, I, I think that means he's actually rebranding it. He's got the Snyder Cut. He's rebranding it and making it a new film. And, and to uh, Brad's article, it, it should be a, 
a, a completely, almost a very, very different film so that it kind of just, you know, uh, it sets it apart from the movie in theaters, right? Sets it a big apart from that. So it's like a different story altogether, which it is, uh, which we believe it is. And uh, there's so much more to that. So that being said, with that clapperboard, him showing us that clapperboard, that he's going to have additional photography, should we kind of guess and possibly assume that he's able to acquire money or being uh, uh, able to get money, a budget, in order to film the scenes, in order to make this Justice League the original idea prior to the uh, changes in the plan, the pre-Batman versus, versus Superman plan, the plan that he and Chris Terrell talked about, the arc, the Justice League 1, 2, or 3, that giant Justice League arc um, that was supposed to have that hard, hard, scary idea. And I like that. I think that, that we, we could probably kind of um, guess that it's possible with with the evidence that he's going to have sh uh, filming uh, additional photography, with evidence that he says that uh, in Zack Snyder's Justice League, Superman will be in the black suit, with evidence showing that there's going to be a Martian Manhunter, and all this other evidence showing that it's possible that it's not just going to be him finishing up some the, the last version, the last most current version before uh, he left but that he's possible he's going to be able to revert uh, this Justice League back to the original plan, including the hard, hard, scary idea, right? Because how far do we go down that rabbit hole? And I think that rabbit hole goes down to the original Justice League plan. And that's just Justice League, the first Justice League, the first part, the first part, right? Not, I don't know if what's, if there, he's, if, if, a second or a third will ever happen but for the first part it's uh, uh probably um could possibly be the original plan uh and i'm all up for that in fact with the original plan maybe it would get people excited after watching it um and enthusiastic to say i want to know where it goes from here it's not going to go through the legion of doom no, it's going to go to dark side. It's going to have, have the nightmare thing going on and the apocalyptic world and, and things like that. It's going to have all that. And I think I, I think people could possibly just want to be able to watch and see more. Who knows? Who knows at this point what is going to happen with this? Uh, and I, I really do know Justice League Part 1 will come out. And I don't know if it's going to spawn the other parts or not. But um, if... If Zack Snyder has every intention to try to get it to Justice League Part 1, then you know he's probably hoping um, that it could lead to Justice League 2 and 3. Like, it's not going to be like, I'm finally finished with this one and I'm done. If he's trying to, and this is a big if, if he's trying to reshoot, do these shooting and additional photography so that this, uh, the, that the theatrical version turns into Zack Snyder's original Justice League Part 1, then we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think that does mean that he hopes and maybe even confident that he can get to 2 and 3. But who knows, right? We'll have to wait and see. Let's wait for Part 1 first before we go on to the rest of the other, um, other films. And I'll leave it at that for now. But because we're talking about Just League, I have something to share. Hold on one second. I just got this today. Uh, thank you so much to Victor Ku, Mighty Pegasus. Uh, he has sent me, uh, and I'm so excited to open this. He has sent me the poster, the poster uh, of his winning uh, Justice League fan art competition. He has a letter in here for me. Um, dear Chris, I want to thank you for trusting me to send you my art project. I have been following you for quite some time now, and I enjoy listening to your videos while working on my art. Well, well thank you so much, Victor. Um, this is an important project to me. I have been working on this for seven months, way before the poster announcement was made. I wanted to capture the universe that Zach had created in one piece, which incorporates 
all DC cinematic characters and a few Easter eggs that we all know will be in Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. This project means everything that the fans have been fighting for in this campaign for the creative integrity of artists and their vision. Um, and then in the pa in the package, you will find a 24 by 36 size poster of the project. And you should also have received a smaller envelope. Oh, with a two metallic foil prints, huh? Um, I guess I have to go back to the post office because I never got that one yet. But I hope they enjoy those and you'll find a spot in your home for them. I'll definitely uh, find a spot for this. Uh, thank you so much, Victor Q. I I'm so excited to open this. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry. It's taped very well for protection. But, oh, my goodness. And there you have it. And if you can see this, there it is. Zack Snyder's Justice League fan poster. It does have that metallic foil on it as it kind of shimmers a little bit. And that's that's really neat. This is incredible. You even signed for it, too. That's awesome. And you do see the 214 over here. Um, what an incredible piece of art. It looks better as the poster than on the screen, you know? Um, and, and I even have this on my, uh, screensaver, by the way, but this is an incredible piece of art. Oh my God. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and oh my God, did you give me two? Did you give me two? Oh, Wait. There's something more. Oh my goodness. Just. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is beautiful. You didn't have to do that. Oh my goodness. This is quite a surprise. Um, look at that. That's the Justice League right there. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, Victor. I am so, uh, I am, I'm feeling so blessed. Um, this is amazing, an amazing artist. Um, you are uh, awesome. This is amazing, guys. Um, if you haven't checked out his artwork, he has a lot of stuff going on. He's going to be attending some cons. Uh, Mighty Pegasus Art. I'm going to put his link, his, his website in the description below. Go and check him out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Victor, for for not only the winning poster, but uh, this extra poster here. Uh, can people get this as well? I think you'd probably want it as well. If you're a fan, a Justice League fan, is just as, uh, as much as I am, I think you'd probably pick this up as well. So, Wow. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Victor Koo, uh, for uh, for uh, <laughs> mailing me that. And I am uh, really, really excited. Man, I'm really, I'm really excited to put that up. Um, this is incredible. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I think this is the two smaller ones. Oh, my God. You're going to get me a two by three foot. I'm definitely going to put it on that wall. I just realized that now I'm like, this is not two by three. That means there's something else in a box at the post office that I'm still expecting. So, wow, dude, 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 that, uh, I am. Thank you so much, Victor. Um, yeah, I am. So that's awesome. This is so awesome. But, but anyway, we're, we are going to have a, uh, live chat uh the, this saturday uh so we're we're gonna be talking about uh, victor we're gonna put talking about his ideas uh, other stuff he's done um uh and uh it's gonna be a fun time i i hope he you know i hope i, I just realized that uh he has all the other people lined up to interview him as well so i hope he doesn't uh get too tired uh away when he gets to me but um uh i am excited to chat and i'm sure you guys are excited it's gonna be a live chat we'll maybe do like 
30 minutes. Uh, I'm just going to ask him a few uh, some questions for 30 minutes, and then and then we'll leave the chat uh, to uh, ask him as well in the rest of the 30 minutes for that one hour uh, live chat show. But so yes, thank you so much, Victor Ku at Mighty Matt Mighty Pegasus Art, incredible artwork. Um, thank you so much for that. And also, please go in this weekend. Please go. Let me put click into there. Uh, please go and watch Ben Affleck in the way back. Um, it's 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 only in theaters right now. <laughs> uh, it started today, uh, continues on this weekend. Uh, let's show our support for him. As we want to support him, just like how he's supporting us uh, and uh, go and watch the way back. So, yeah, check out that film. It's probably a, a big tearjerker. Uh, I'll probably cry, but that's fine. I love those kind of movies, uh, feel good movies at towards the end, uh, maybe. Uh, and we'll we'll find out and we'll see and check that out as well. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.